happening people welcome back to another week of the vlog big week first week back training in the pits this was exciting we're, we're training tonight i'm um, used to me doing upper body session there this morning uh, and then last night as well our championship groups got announced so we're doing like a group stage but like basically every team goes through in the groups but if you win you go straight to the quarter final and if you're in the bottom three of the group you you could do like playoffs um we got a tough group and but it's weird like you know really none of the group stages kind of matter that much because everything goes through so you all, you all get a second chance but we have a tough group but um it's exciting now thinking that like it is actually going to start because for so long i think every player thought it probably wasn't going to happen it's fucking happening now so we got training tonight so i'm going to take you through that my kind of preparations for it and um a few wee tips and tricks and whatnot and then um, we're going to do some vlogging over the weekend. Just going to see what sort of mad shit we get up to over the weekend. It's going to be crazy. Keep watching. So the nice uh, people at Healthy Cave Meadows have sent me over some more meadows. So I've got some championship prep meadows in there, which is really nice. So they've sent me like lunches and dinners. Um, it's now one o'clock, so my train's going to be at half seven tonight. So I'm trying to get one of these big high carb meals in now, because that's starting to kind of fuel up the system. And then um, later on, I'm just going to eat a wee bit lighter coming to training. And then um, I can eat a bit more after training as well. But I think trying to get more of your food earlier in the day is a bigger thing just to help with digestion too. So this week's hour has 473 calories, 44 grams of protein and 68 grams of carbs. So she's a fucking big meal. Hmm. Not bad. Basically now I'm just doing a wee bit of uni work for a couple hours and we have training tonight. So I had at one o'clock there. I'm probably gonna eat another bit of food at um, four o'clock. Probably a smaller meal than what I had there, maybe like you know, I like thinking plate sizes. Imagine earlier in the day you have like a big plate, like say this one, and then later on you have one half that size, and then the closer you get to training, the smaller that like, plate gets. So have a big meal at one and then I'm gonna have a smaller meal probably around at four or five o'clock and then I've um, actually got some energy gels which I'm going to test out like before training to see what they're like because I've been fine the past few times without and train that like my stomach has been getting a bit upset so I'm hoping because they're kind of liquid and they'll get straight into the system they'll do a good job so get some you know what to do until then gear ready for training um don't know why it's right on the floor so about an hour and a half out from training so basically now, probably at around four o'clock, I'm gonna have a protein shake and maybe a bit of fruit. Um, just kind of keep me going. And then at about six o'clock, I'm gonna have this wee gel. Um, and then I'm gonna try a bit of this caffeine gum. And really what I'm using this for, and the reason I'm doing it, it might seem like a bit of a waste of an energy gel. I want to test out like a kind of pre-match, pre-training meal. Um, I think going and doing that in training is a good idea. So like learning what your body likes and learning how you perform off certain food. So I'm gonna do that and see how this goes. So if I feel good from doing this here and um, have no negative effects, I'll probably keep doing this. Um, you know, and use that as my pre-match meal as time goes on. But um, it might not work, so sometimes you have to test these things out. Look as well at this uh, Thomas Davids top. Looking to sign me up, so they sent me down a jacket, but it's too busy. Absolute grip socks. Absolute grips on Instagram, they sent me up some stuff. I feel like a fucking influencer today. I got meals and socks. It's all coming up washing. So, first session back was complete. Uh, good session. Good to see everybody again. And uh, good to get the football back in the hands too. So, it was good. I can't say much else than that. I'm very rusty. But uh, that's to be expected. So, yeah. Good to be back. So, Saturday morning. Legs feeling a wee bit tight today, feeling a wee bit heavy. Um, I think it just shows you, you know, you can do all the running you want, but whenever you go out and do like a pitch session, it is very different. But um, it was good, I'm still kind of off that high from the session last night, which is good. But one thing I was thinking about last night, which I think is really important, is like people always ask, what's the best recovery method and, and how do you recover quickly? And we're very quick to jump on kind of the cool things like fucking jumping in an ice bath or using a massage gun. But to be honest, the best thing you can do, and if, if you don't do this, 
then all the other things won't matter is, is getting your nutrition on point so you know straight away after after your training getting hydrated number one getting some sort of protein in getting some sort of fast acting carbs so like usually i'll go for um like maybe a protein shake and some fruit i think that's an important thing you know people look for recovery methods and look elsewhere but the simplest thing but the most important thing is getting your nutrition on point and get your sleep on point like the first cup of coffee I've had in 10 days. I'm like a three or four cup of coffee a day type of person for the last couple of years. Went 10 days, cold turkey, had like withdrawals and also was 100% addicted, which isn't a good thing. So I took some time off of it and um, it's my first cup. I'm going to try and limit it to like, well, I'm saying in my head one cup a week, but that's probably not going to happen, but it tastes a lot better when you don't have it that often. One of the things I've chatted about before, probably on this page, is um, you know obviously there's there's pros and cons of of kind of being self-employed and, and being your own boss in a sense, and that like you can kind of um, make your own plans, make your own decisions. You don't have to be told what to do by anybody. But one of the difficult things is that like everything you do is on you as well. You know, so if you fuck up, it's your fault, um, and that means that you have to kind of work a lot. So like. I'm pretty much working every day, like today it's Saturday, so I'm trying to finish up some uni work and then I've got some work with my online coaching clients to read up as well. So you're just constantly kind of on the loop of working, which is a good thing and a bad thing, but um, it does get to a kind of stage whenever you kind of, you just like couldn't be bothered to do things anymore. But coffee's there to keep me going. And I suppose there's times whenever I think it would be really nice to have like a 95 of the weekends to do whatever you wanted and chill out and not have the pressure of having to do work but um, I think it's just interesting there's pros and cons to both types of work you know there's good things and bad things about both it's not always just like amazing being in your own being your own boss um, sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't perspective is key so Sunday morning and we are going to go and do the cool cow walk which is in Fermanagh um, been chatting about doing this for ages, you know, and things just keep chatting about. I will do that sometime, it never fucking happens. It's fucking happening today. So we're gonna go up here. Um, weather's not looking optimistic, but I uh, gotta keep a positive mental attitude. Ain't that right? PMA. PMA. Can I get a, a sausage and bacon bath, please? Yeah, can I get red sauce in it, please? Red sauce at the moment, but cheese that Can I go for brown sauce, please? Good bop the ear. Read it. Um seven. What's it missing? Um the bacon's crispy, but I think it's too crispy. Mm -hmm. The bop. I feel like I would have liked it maybe a wee bit toasted. Mm. And the fact I had a get brown sauce instead of red sauce is really disappointing. Yeah. Clear up a debate for me here in the comments. <laughs> have you ever heard of red sauce or brown sauce being called red ding? No, it's only brown ding. Have you ever heard of brown sauce being called brown ding? Apparently it's a thing in the part of the world. <laughs> Brown ding, if you've heard of that and you know what that means, then comment below. Also, here's another one. Would you ever go to a hot food counter and just get a bowl of stuffing with gravy? <laughs> Nothing else, just a bowl of stuffing. <laughs> this fucking creep over here was going to get a bowl of stuffing and eat it in the car with a tub of gravy. This is what I'm working with, right? Further point. Doing a road trip. In July, down south, down the Wild Atlantic Way. Anyone with any ideas or places to go or any recommendations, hit me up. So we said regardless, rain, hail or shine, we're going to do Kulka and our PMA, or Positive Mental Attitude. 
Didn't really seem to work out, it's raining pretty badly. Which is a bit depressing, there's a two hour drive here as well. But anyway, we're just going to walk at night and I decided to wear shorts. Because um, I was told once in Gaelic that it doesn't matter about your legs as long as your upper body's warm, so... There you go. Back to the day. So far, Kulka has a good solid minus two out of ten. So we were complaining a lot on the way up, but we made it up to the top here and the views. The views make it all worse by look at this. Wow. Ray Coca. <laughs> fucking terrible. <laughs> stairway to heaven like fucking stairway to hell. But no, great, definitely do it. <laughs>